it's Emmeline. So today I'm going to be doing a little haul because as you guys know, I love anything and everything vintage. So I just went to a little antique shop. It's one of my favorites and I got a bunch of stuff because I am planning on moving out and um, I think it's probably going to be sometime in October. Um, I might make a video more on it and like why I'm moving out and stuff if you guys want me to. Um, it's not like a set plan. I'm, I mean, I'm almost like, I'm like 85% sure I'm going to move out sometime in October. It's more so um, like whenever I'm ready. It's not like I'm being forced to move out or anything like that. So um, it, if I'm like ready in October, I think that's when I'm going to move out because I think it's going to be really good timing. So once again, I can make another video if you guys want me to, to kind of talk about why and stuff like that. So um, anyway, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of vintage things that I got. And most of this is stuff for my new place because I do have the place already so um, I already know like what I need and stuff like that. So most of it is that and then I have just like a couple little like fun things. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with these and I really hope that they show up in camera as cute as they are in person. So I went to Long Beach Island um, a couple days ago actually because that's where my grandparents live. So I always go there and I always visit them. And we went to a little consignment shop and they had these little vintage towels there. And I'm just folding them right now because <laughs> I had them all messy. But anyway, they were so cute and they just looked just like my style. I can already see it's kind of it's kind of hard, so I'll just show you guys up close. So as you guys can see, they have these really cute little flowers on it and a little bow. And then um, all at the bottom, it's like all lace. So I just think that these are so adorable. So I think these are so adorable. And these are probably going to be more of like those like hand towels that are just kind of like cute ones that you don't really use that much. Just because they are um, like so like cute and old. So I'm really, really excited to have these in my bathroom. Okay. So the next thing, this is now from the um, place that I went to. And I don't know if any of you guys live in New York. But this is in Stanfordville and it's called Carousel Antique Shop. They have like literally everything that I love there. So I got this. I don't necessarily need this. But I got this little vintage phone. I love this vintage phone. It is just like so, so adorable. It has like the old um, like the spinning dial up kind of thing. So it is just so cute. And like even when you like close it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it has like a little like bell like ringing thing to it. So, um, I mean technically if I needed a house phone or like a landline, I could use this phone still. But I don't think I'm going to be having a house phone. But it is just so cute. I think it's going to be a really cute decoration just to kind of have. And eventually, you know, once I like move into an actual house when I'm really old. Not really old, but you know, someday I would probably end up using this because it's just so cute. Okay. Next, I have all this stuff like still wrapped up, so I'm just going to unwrap it quick. Next, I have this little um, lantern, and this is so adorable because my, like for vintage stuff, I like from the 50s. Basically just in general, like vintage to me, like the eras that are like and like time periods, I like from like the late 40s, all the 50s, and a little bit of the early 60s. And um, a lot of this stuff is from like the 40s and 50s more so. Not really too much of the 60s, but um, this is so cute. I just love like all the pastel types of vintage stuff. I'm not really into like the reds or like when it got to like the 70s, like all the greens and oranges and browns. So this just like really matches perfectly. This is milk glass. I am obsessed with milk glass. I love milk glass so much. And um, I'm actually, my grandma has one of her milk glass lamps that she's going to give me, so I'm super excited for it. So yeah, this is really cute, and um, it actually, I could still put the, like, the oil in, and I could still burn this if I wanted to. I'm a little nervous to actually, but um, I might just get, like, a little, like, fake candle or something like that and put it in, because I think it would be really cute lit up. Next, this, is, I think this might be my favorite thing that I actually got. It is this little, like, I guess you would put maple syrup in here. I'm not really sure, um, like, what else you would put in here. I mean, I, technically you could, I guess, put, like, cream or anything that you want. But um, 
it's definitely more of like a little maple syrup thing and just like the fact that it's light pink it is so adorable I've never seen a light pink one before and if it wasn't like a pastel kind of color I don't think I would have gotten it but I just think this is so cute and I'm definitely gonna put maple syrup in it because Connor makes homemade maple syrup every um, like winter so um, I'm definitely gonna ask him for some and put it in here because I think it's super cute just a warning, I'm probably going to overuse the word cute like I always do, but everything is really cute, so I'm probably going to say cute a thousand more times. Next, I got these um, shelf edgings. These are really cute, and these you put like on the inside of like your shelves. So most people put these on the inside of their kitchen cabinets or um, on the edge of a table. I'm probably going to use these in my linen closet, and um, yeah, I just love the colors of it too. It's really cute. I guess my thing is kind of weird. Not weird, but I don't know if you guys are going to like it. I um, am obsessed with cats, so this is why I probably really like it. It's this little kitty cat dish, and I think it is just so precious and adorable. It is just so, I don't even know. It's just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you would basically, you just like hang it on your wall. Like it has this little um, string here, and you just would hang it on your wall. Because I really want to have like a wall and like hang all of my teacups on it like I think the wall where I put my sofa on the back I want to have not my teacups my tea saucers I want to hang a bunch of them up and just like put cute kind of stuff like that like little vintage um knickknacks you know so I think that this would be really cute on that wall the last few things I got um are not like house related these are more clothing related okay so the first thing of the clothing are these little gloves and these are so cute and dainty um, I'll put them on quick it is so adorable and they're light pink and they have like such cute little like scalloping and um, they're like embroidered I just think that they are so adorable and next I got this little vintage sweater it is so so pretty I love it and it it literally fits me perfect because people back then were very like tiny so um, it just like fits me so well like it was like made for me so I am so excited I found this I love it It kind of looks like a winter like wonderland type of sweater so I can't wait to wear this especially like in the winter time next I have to put this one thing down because this thing is actually for you guys on my cupcake channel um, I'm doing a giveaway. Uh, I don't think the video, this video will probably be up before the giveaway video will be, but uh, basically an apron giveaway. So if you guys um, are interested in that, just be sure to keep checking my cupcake channel for that sometime soon. But I got myself a vintage apron too because I collect them. So I got one for me and I got one for you guys. So this is the one that I got for myself and it's purple. And I love how it has like the see-through um, type of material on it. And I mean, this one was only $5. Normally they're like 15 maybe 20 is like a little bit much for one, but normally they're more around 15 So I was so surprised that I found this one for $5. And it is like very tiny. That's what I love about vintage aprons. They're normally like pretty tiny. So they fit me like perfect because if I buy aprons um, that are just like for sale now, they normally are really big on me. And they don't look that cute, but um, these ones fit me so well. So that was it for this video. I have like a huge pile actually growing in my room right now of um, a whole bunch of like other home stuff that I've been buying. Like um, I have like knives, that sounds weird knives, but you know like just all that kind of stuff that you have to get when you move. So I have um, a bunch of that and some other like cute little like trinkety things for the house. So I don't know if you guys want me to do like a like house haul type of thing you know as I gradually buy more stuff if you guys want me to do a haul of that or I don't know if that would be boring for you guys because I know some of you guys are younger and you guys aren't in the whole like moving stage yet so um yeah so let me know if you guys would want me to do that so I hope you guys enjoyed this vintage haul and I will talk to you guys next time bye